Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an extreme clean and organized of my desk area. I'm also gonna be showing you some storage solutions that I'm now using and some desk hacks as well. And I'm also gonna show you a full tour of my desk at the very end of this video once it is all nice and clean. But as you can see, it was a complete disaster to start out with. This is one of those jobs that I have just been putting off for so many months and I finally had to tackle it and I'm so glad glad that I did because I now have such better storage in place and I'm ultimately feeling so much more productive when I'm working at my desk. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I took it from looking like this, if you can even see my desk under all of that mess and packaging, to then looking like this and being very organized in the drawers and having a place for everything. So I hope you really like this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I would love you to consider subscribing if you like cleaning content. Okay, so to just fully show you what the before looked like, this is it here. As I mentioned, you can't even see my desk. There is so much stuff just dumped in and around it. It got way out of hand and it's actually December here. So all of those boxes are from deliveries that either family have sent me or presents that I've ordered. There's also so many books on here, so much stuff that is actually the kids that needs to go back to their rooms. Storage boxes just randomly been chucked on here. And I think this gets so messy because this desk sits in our front room where no one really spends a lot of time. So I think I'm guilty of putting stuff on this desk because then it's out of sight, out of mind of our main living area. So as you can see, the drawers as well have got really disorganized. They're just really messy and there's just so much that has been shoved into it and under the desk as well. Before I get started with this declutter, I'm going to choose a book to listen to on my Blinkist app. And I've talked about Blinkist before on this channel, but I love using this app because it is the only one that takes the best insights and need to know information from thousands of non-fiction books and condenses them down into just 15 minutes so that you can read the best learnings and key points of a book in 15 minutes, or like me, you can listen to them. Them. If you have very little time like me, I find it so difficult to sit down and actually read something or learn something new. But by using the Blinkist app, I feel like I'm learning all the time. I love to use it while I'm cleaning because I feel like I'm multitasking or I'll also listen to Blinkist when I'm doing my makeup in the morning or also when I'm cooking. There are loads of different categories of books that you can read. There's self-help, there's health, parenting, history. This is my library here so you can see how many books that I've actually listened to and often if I like a book I'll listen to it again. So you can see a few parenting ones there in green and I love to listen to motivational self-help books as well. And Blinkist have said that the first 100 people that go to the Blinkist link in the description will get unlimited access for one week and if you like it after that one week you'll also get 20 25% off a full membership. Yes, so I can wholeheartedly recommend the Blinkist app because it's an app that I use nearly every day and I'm not the only one who thinks it's great. Blinkist have 8 million users and a massive library. So if I could recommend a few books for you to listen to that I've recently enjoyed. The first one is this one here, How to Talk So That Kids Will Listen and How to Listen So That Kids Will Talk was a great parenting read. I also really enjoyed this one, How Children's succeed. I will also regularly re-listen to the book Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and it's all small stuff because it just puts things into perspective for me. And I also really loved um, The 4-Hour Work Week, The Worry-Free Mind. I love reads like that that will just motivate me and put me in a good place. So I'm just going to set my phone up on the side and have that running while I start organizing. As I said, the links are in the description for the first 100 of you to go ahead and get a week's um, full access to the app. Exactly how this tool works or how we can use it to produce the best results. 
that's where conversation analysis comes in. So now that my mind is occupied, I can actually get on and start clearing things away. And I'm going to use the big boxes to help. So I'm gonna have one for recycling, one for rubbish, and one for anything that is to go to the charity shop. And I'm just going to start moving all of the big objects off of my desk and trying to categorize them. Um, some things needed to go back upstairs as well. Some things just needed to be chucked like that box. These books I recently bought for Fraser because he is reading so much. So they just need to like make it up to his room. And once I've sorted through the bigger items, I can now focus on the smaller ones and that huge mound of paperwork. everything is off the surface of the desk I'm going to tackle and clean the shelves I definitely don't do this as often as I should so I'm going to take all of the frames fake plants books radio camera lenses candles all of it off of the shelves and give it a really good wipe down Now that they're all clean and wiped down, I'm also going to dust off the frames and put them back in some kind of position. I love these paintings that the boys made of me, so I'm going to put them back on that shelf and my 100,000 play button as well. I'm also going to switch out a few of the prints and just change things around a little bit. I decided not to put that one back up and I'm also going to wipe down my fake plants. I noticed that they're actually quite dusty where they're up so high, so I'm just using the same cloth, my marigold squeaky clean cloth to wipe them down and put them back as well and then I also decided to sort through some of my books because I don't need them on my desk every single day um, I also put this print up which I love the boys got it from me it says hey mama you're amazing so yeah I'm just gonna position a few things that I know I'll use all the time like that little camera then I'm also going to tackle what is underneath my desk, which as you can see is really messy and I have no idea how it got to this point or how any of this stuff has actually got under here. So I'm going to sort through all of it, organize it, hoover underneath my desk and then once that's all clean, I'm going to start to tackle what is in the drawers.
Yeah, so at this point, I was taking the entire contents of a drawer out and putting it on top of my desk and then going through the contents and just working out what I needed to keep and what I could throw. There were so many miscellaneous wires and random things in my desk from toys to things I didn't even realize I had in there. I also found this quite time consuming because there were some really cute like family photos or little cards that the boys had made at school or drawings. At this point, I was like, why did I even start? this like what is this even for I was finding it really overwhelming and in the end I actually stopped for the day and then started up the next day again so I spent about two hours one day and then two hours the next day to do this entire clean I'm happy to say that I've been living with a clean desk now for a week and I am so glad that I tackled it everything has a place now and I'm feeling so much more organized but now I'm just gonna go through a few more of my drawers <laughs> two days later and my desk is finally clean and organized it took me so long to do because I had to try and find little pockets of time where I could actually clean this because as you saw it was such a mess but now that it's done I thought I would give you a quick tour and show you how I've organized it okay so as you can see the desk is looking so much clearer and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out I'll start up here with the shelves the two shelves over here are from Ikea. They're the very thin shelves, but they're perfect for hanging frames like this. And then the two shelves over here, they're like fake marble or granite shelves that came with this bronze bracket. And we hung them and I really like the way that they look. So on the top one here, we've put the fake plants. They're both from Ikea. And then they're, they're obviously really low maintenance for me as well. And then on this one, I've put one of my spare cameras that I use quite a lot a couple of frames and just a few planners and notebooks. I had loads of books there, but really it was quite unnecessary. So I've moved all of those away. The frames haven't changed too much. At the top, I still have my Mags London print that says love over gold, and I really like that. Then I've got my gold E, which is from Next. And then the print over here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says she believed she could, so she did. And I love that little quote. I also got this little print here from the boys and it says, hey mama, you are amazing. So I put it onto a cute little marble and like rose gold um, clipboard. Then we've got a few little cactuses, which I believe are from Ikea as well. My 100,000 play button, which is like pride of place. And this drawing that I think it was Fraser who did that one. So I had that framed and I just love it. I think it's adorable. And I think he really got that I like to wear red lipstick. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so that is the shelves. And then coming down to the desk, I've talked about this desk before, but we actually had our carpenter build it because it's quite an awkward space. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a pipe in the middle 
of um, the corner there. So no desk was really like fitting around it the way that we wanted it to. So our carpenter built it and he did a great job. And then our local glass company came and cut a piece of glass to go on top of the desk just to give it like a really nice finish. I have two pink velvet office chairs and the reason I have two is because they actually came as a pair. I can't remember the name of the company but I will try and find it and link it down below. I think it might have been made but I can't quite remember. Then on top of my desk I have two rose gold baskets which Matt actually got me as part of my Christmas present last year. One is full up of my 2020 planner because I need to send these out to friends and family that want them. So I'm going to be sending those out and that's kind of there to remind me. Um, and I have another little basket and I'm basically going to use both of these as like things I'm working on. So I just got sent some products so I need to try them out, see what I think of them. So I've put them in this basket to remind me to actually try them and share them if I like them. Then I have a little frame over here of me and the boys and then Matt and the boys. Then this little holder here, I used to actually put my phone on. It was just like a cheap one. Um, I can't remember, I think it was like from Ikea or Dunelms, but I used to have my phone on there, but it's actually the perfect size for my planner. Then here I have our little like annual calendar. I got this on Vistaprint and it's got pictures of the little boys throughout them. Because it's for 2020, I haven't started opening it up yet but it's got pictures of all the kids when they were babies so i really like that and it's great for reference then i really wanted to show you this wooden tray that i got from my computer to sit on it's really cool it has little cutout things on it for different items so i've got my tape there i've got my mouse there there's a hole for a coffee and pens and things like that you can also put your phone in one of these little pockets there um, so I want to spray this either white or rose gold. Um, so let me know which color you think I should spray it. I was thinking rose gold, but Matt was like, I think you should just go white. But it's quite cool. It hides your keyboard underneath it there. And then also I've got my little mouse mat here, which is a really cute picture of Caleb. Um, so you can kind of like tuck that away and then it makes your monitor slightly higher. And then I also wanted to show you this thing that I got um, to help me be organized. It just sticks onto the side of your PC and you can put um, like business cards or what I'm gonna do is put post-it notes on it as reminders. So every day I can put some work things on there that I need to get done and it will just like be there in full sight to remind me. Again, I got that on Amazon as well. Then next to my monitor, I have a little family photo, which behind it, I'm hiding my computer itself and then my chargers. So I have two different cameras. So these are the two places where I can charge the batteries and I always need full batteries. So that is why there are pretty much always be one on charge. Then next to that, I have a little pot of pens and I love this pot so much. I actually picked it up in Poundland and I was so happy with it because I think it looks a lot more expensive than one pound. Now onto the drawers themselves, which you would have seen were so disgusting and in need of a clear out. But my top drawer now is so nice and organized. I use the little Poundland baskets. They were two for a pound. And I feel like it really does separate all of my little like things that I need in my top drawer. So I've got my tape, my glue, my stapler, hole punch, scissors, ruler. All of this is actually so good for the boys' homework as well. I've got my hand sanitizer, a few lipsticks, because sometimes if I'm filming downstairs, I'm like, quick, I need a lipstick. Um, just like paper clips and things like that. I also love this little book of positivity. If I'm ever feeling a bit down, I like to like look through this and it has so many nice quotes in it. It really does make me feel better. Um, so that is that top drawer. I've also got some matches because there's a candle on my desk. Then the next drawer down is pretty much for all my electronics. Again, I'm using some Poundland baskets. These are the slightly higher ones so they can hold all of my camera equipment. But in this one, I've pretty much got microphones. This is all of my GoPro stuff. And this one is lens caps, extra lenses, and I've got like a spare vlogging camera and my Osmo pocket as well. So it's kind of like more cameras. Then my bottom drawer is pretty empty. It just has one box file in it that has some photos, like miscellaneous photos in it. But it's great, there's so much room in here. If I needed to put anything else on my desk, there is space. Then moving on to my other set of drawers. In this top drawer, I have pretty much any type of envelope you could ever need here. 
and here as well. I've also got my label maker, my old computer, which is under there with some stickers, just in case I need it, and any kind of tape or label you might need. So yes, feeling super organized in that one. Then in the next drawer down, I have my little printer that I've talked about before. It's my little Instax printer. You can basically print Polaroids out from any picture on your phone. I find this so handy for homework and stuff like that. So I've got that and then the spare film that it needs. And then I've also got a file where I keep all of my receipts and I feel so much more organized now that they're just all there and in one place and then at the very bottom I have a box file which I'll show you guys but inside I have everything to do with our mortgage our pension our bills like anything including like press that I've got for my vlog or just anything to do with the kids I now have in this box file and it looks so much cleaner and so much more organized than just having loads of paper everywhere and then under my desk, I am so proud that there is no longer just loads of stuff everywhere. I've cleared away all of it, except for my two tripods, because I think this is definitely the best place to keep my tripods. Even the wires and everything are super organized now. So I have loads of leg room and it is so much tidier. Right, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my desk makeover and I am so determined now to keep it this way and to stay on top of everything and super organized. So once again, I just wanted to show you the before of my desk and the after as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.